Well, hey, everybody, Mystery's back with you for our third and final video on Lesson 5.3. In my first two videos, I went through the concepts in this lesson, and we talked about uh, working with sales tax. We talked about simple interest. We talked about commission and we talked about using multiple different percents. All right, so now what I'd like to do, like I always do, is just work through some of the practice problems from the textbook assignment. All right, so I uh, already did some of these up here in one of my previous videos, but I will go ahead now and get started on just a couple more. So if you are asked to find a percent of a number, as I stated in my previous video, what we're going to do is we're going to change our percent to a decimal. And we're going to do that by moving the decimal two places to the right, right? So 150% of 22 is going to become 1.50. Remember that of tells us that we're going to be multiplying and we're going to multiply by 22. All right, 200% of... $5 is going to be 2.00 times 5. All right, so now I'm going to go to my handy-dandy calculator and do 1.5 times 22. And while I'm at it, I'm going to do 2.0 times 5. So the answer to my first one there is 33. And the answer to this one, actually, let me go back to where I was. So this one was 33, and this one was 10. Shouldn't have needed a calculator to do 2 times 5, should I? But remember, this is money, so this would be $33, and this would be $10. Remember, if we are going with decimal places, we need to put two decimal places always for money. If there are no cents, it's okay just to leave it like 33 and 10. Um, but remember, never go one decimal place with money. If you're going to go anywhere with decimal places, it must go two decimal places. All right? So again, when you want a percent of a number, change the percent to a decimal and then multiply to get your answer. All right, let me hide this calculator here so I can take a look at this next problem. Brandon buys a radio for $43.99. Who buys radios? All right, anyway, in a state where the sales tax is 7%, how much does he pay in taxes? What is the total that he pays for the radio? All right, step one, we're going to change that 7% to what, boys and girls? That's right, a decimal, 0 0.07, okay? And then we're going to take that percent, 0 0.07, because we're going to find 7% of 43.99 that's what we need to do and that's why we're doing those problems up there so we knew what to do so seven percent of 43 dollars and 99 cents now i'm going to pull up my handy dandy calculator all right and i'm going to do 0 0.07 all right times 43 point nine nine and when i do that i get Okay, 3.0793. Now, remember, this is money, so we need to go two decimal places, and this is going to round up to $3.08. All right, so three, sorry, let me remember to put the dollar sign on here, 3.08. So he's going to pay $3.08. Cents, okay, three dollars and eight cents in taxes. So, what is the total cost he's going to pay? Well, the total cost he's going to pay is his original cost, forty-three point nine nine, plus that tax that he's paying, three point zero eight. All right. So, if I go back to my handy dandy calculator and if I add that to my original forty-three point nine nine. What I get is $47.07, right? $47.07. And really, we should have done that with mental math, right? Because if we just put a penny on here, 
that would be $44, and that would be $3.07. So $47.07. And I would not be a good teacher if I did not remind you, right? What we really did was we did 100% of 4399 right? And we added 7% of 4399 That's what we did right here. This was 100%, right? And this was 7%. We could get that all. The option that we have, we could have done 1.07 times 43.99. Okay, I just want to remind you that this is actually pretty much the best way to do it. If you are asked for the total cost right at the beginning, 107% of 4399 and you see that we get that same exact answer because 100% plus 7% is 107%. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at this next problem right here. Joe borrowed $2,000 from the bank at a rate of 7% simple interest. How much did he pay in five years? years all right so if you watched my previous videos and i sure hope you did we have p we have r we have t p stands for the principal the principal is two thousand dollars the rate is seven percent and the time is five years all right and remember seven percent is zero point zero seven and the interest that you earn is equal to the principal times the rate times the time, right? So we're going to get how much interest did he pay? That interest that he paid is going to be 2,000 times 0 0.07. And he's going to be paying that over five years. All right, so now I'm going to go to my handy dandy calculator. I'm going to clear everything out. Make a nice clean white screen for us. 2,000 times 0 0.07 times 5 years gives me 700. All right. And remember, this is money. $700. All right. So as a privilege of borrowing that $2,000, he gets to pay $700 in interest. And they did not ask, but if they asked for the total to be repaid and again they did not ask but many times they will it would be that two thousand dollars plus plus it would be the seven hundred and we would get twenty seven hundred dollars that he would be paying back right okay all right so i think i'm going to let that, because I already did several of those problems, or at least a couple of those problems, uh, count for our interest ones. Okay, here we go. But here's a different type of one. Martin finds a shirt on sale. You know what? I did this one in a previous video, so I'm not going to do number 11. I'm actually going to skip down to number 12. If you want to see how to do number 11, go back and watch my second of the three videos. All right. Number 12, Teresa. Hey, that's my sister's name. Teresa's restaurant bill comes to $29.99 before tax. If the sales tax is 6.25% and she tips the waiter 20%, what is the total cost? Okay, so if we think about what the total cost is going to be, it's going to be that initial $29.99, right? Plus 6.25% of $29.99. Right? Plus 20% of 29. Whoops, forgot the dollar sign. 29.99. Okay? So we have 29.99 is just 29.99. Remember, 6.25%. 6.25% is 0. 0.0625 because we always change our percents to decimals when we're going to multiply, right? And 20% is going to be 0 0.20. Just a reminder of that. So this is going to be 0 0.0625 times 
$29.99. I'm going to drop the dollar sign and put it back on at the end. Okay. And 20% is going to be 0 0.20 times $29.99. Now, I could put all of this in the calculator separately, or I'm going to remind you if I have 1 plus 0 0.0625 plus 0 0.20 all of those are each getting multiplied by 29.99 I can add all those percentages together right and what do I get I get 1.0 no 1 point excuse me 1.2625 because if you think about it what do we get here when we add those together we get 26.25 percent because that's really the interest you're paying, right? You're paying 6.25% in taxes, right? This is tax and this is tip. So this right here is tax plus tip. So we can do it all separately. Again, you could put all of this right here in your calculator or if you want to save yourself some time, add all of those percentages together, 100% plus 6.25% plus 20% what is that? That's 126% of 2999. All right, that's what we're finding. That's what I'm going to put in my calculator. I'm going to put 1.2, sorry, I should be accurate. It's 126.25%. All right, let's get it right, Mr. Reeves. All right, 1.2625 times. 29.99, 126.25% of 29.99 is this number. And remember, it's money. It's money, so we're going to go two decimal places. Now, let's have a quick math discussion versus real life discussion. If I was going two places, I would look after this six and I would see a two. And so mathematically, I would say the answer was 37.86. Now, the way real life works, guess what? They round up, they don't round down because they don't want to lose money. So anything over that cost, they're going to round up, all right? So even though mathematically, the answer should be $37.86, Real life application here, it's going to be $37.87. Of course, you could tip whatever you want to. So, But if they were putting this in the computer and they were telling you, if you said, okay, I'll do 20% tip and 6.25, it would come out to $37.87. All right, $37.87. If you put a six there, I probably would not mark it wrong. Um, I'd probably accept $37.86 as well because mathematically that's what it would be. All right. How can you determine the total cost of an item including tax if you know the price of the item? All right. Again, it's the item cost plus the tax rate times the item cost right or remember we could do 1.0 whatever it is right 1.0 r no that doesn't make sense but you could do 120 100 percent plus whatever the tax rate is built in we talked about that all right let's see if we have anything on the next page that we haven't gone over all right uh we've done these problems with meal costs and taxes all right, what about a, okay, let's do a discount one. We haven't done one when there's a discount. How about that? The Jaden family eats at a restaurant that is having a 15% discount promotion. Their meal costs $78.65, and they leave a 20% tip. If the tip applies to the cost of the meal before the discount, what is the total cost of the meal? All right, so the original cost. Let's write that down. We have the original cost. The original cost is going to be $78.65. All right. The tip applies before the discount. So the tip is going to be 
of 78.65. All right, and then the discount is going to be 15% of 78.65. All right, so this is a little tricky here because they want the tip on the original amount and then we're going to do the discount, which, by the way, is always a good idea. You know, if you go to a restaurant and you have one of those gift cards and you get $50 knocked off your bill, if your bill was $75 and now it's $25, you should tip on $75, not $25, because he did $75 worth of work, not $25 worth of work. All right, that must drive servers crazy when those gift cards come in. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to have 78.65 plus 0 0.20 times 78.65 minus 0 0.15 times 78.65. Does that make sense? We have our original plus the tip. So this is, I'm going to put O-R-I-G for original, plus the tip minus the discount, okay? And we could do it that way, but remember, what do we have here? The original is always 100%, right? So if we put that together with that minus that, right, what do we have? We have 100% plus 20% minus 15%. And what do you get? You get 105%, which is 1.05. So we could save ourselves a lot of trouble by simply doing 105%, right? Because basically their discount took care of three-fourths of their tip, right? Or 15% of their tip is covered by the discount, but they're still doing 5% more. So if I go to my handy-dandy calculator, I'm going to clear it out and get that beautiful white space there. 1.05, 105% of 78 dollars 65 gives me $82.58, right? Or if I round up, $82.59. All right, so in the end, they're going to pay $82, and I'm going to round up to $0.59. Cents. Again, if we look at the calculator, you could argue for $0.58, cents, um, but again, in real life with money, we usually round up anything um, that goes beyond two decimal places. All right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop there. If there are any questions you have that I didn't cover, of course, you can always email me back and I'm happy to help you. Don't forget to take exam uh, take advantage of the view example option or the step-by-step -step options that are always available to you as well. Have a great day until next time.